Well, hello, YouTube fans. Today we have the Big P Picture Story Bible. We're just going to review this real fast. My children have had this for a little while, and, well, that's what happens when you got kids, but that's okay. That's what we want. I do like the artwork here. Um, when you have children, you know, they go through everything, and they want to know every detail. This particular picture right here is actually from Jesus on the cross. You can see his hand right here, his fit, feet nailed. Um, and that's what this, this book is about. It's about Christ and what he's done for us on the cross. This particular book is about 453 pages long. Somewhere in there. What's the back? Yeah, 448, 51, 52, 53. So, from beginning to end, this book is about 453 pages long. And it's a great interactive book for preschoolers to kindergartners, I believe. And then you want to move up to a different, more difficult book. Um, but for beginning readers, it's a great book to have. My Big Picture Story Bible by David Helm, illustrations by Gail Shoemaker. And this particular book is copyrighted in 2014, so it's a few years old. We've had it for a few years. And it does give the table of contents. It's a very big beginning, a very sad day. And, blah, and it goes down and it, it gives the parts. And it breaks it down to 11 parts in the Old Testament. In the New Testament, you have about the same. Let's see. Well, 26 all together, so 13. Something like that. And it gives acknowledgments. And then you have, in the beginning, the Bible of God's story. It begins with the big words. You know, in, in the beginning, God. And that's a great picture right there because not only does it give the word God, but it gives it in the Hebrew form as well. And that's an awesome thing because you don't find that in many children's storybooks, you know. So you want to talk about the Hebrew foundation for the word of God because, well, God is Jewish. He's the king, you know. So, and I do like the artwork that it shows, it depicts here. Um, so those those different chapters i guess you would say in the beginning they really do go cover a lot of ground but it's very simple language you know in the very good beginning everything and everyone knew how god how good god was you know so they can go over it they can read so very very easy language for preschoolers to go over um the artwork is very very simple as well but very colorful very enticing it'll draw you in so, as it gets more complicated, the, the pages get more, and uh, you can see how all this is. Very good book, though. Incorporate the Word of God into it, though. That's what you want to do. Um, King James Standard Version is what I what I use. You can use the New International Version, the New King James Version. Um, this particular book is actually off the English Standard Version, I believe. Um the ESV, but get involved with your children, entice them to learn the Word of God, memorize scripture with them, you know, um, good scripture to learn at this age, preschoolers, is the first commandment, actually, you know, to love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy mind and strength, this is the first and greatest commandment, and the second one is like unto it, to love your neighbor as yourself, and then you teach them, you know, well, who's your neighbor, you know, your mom, your dad, your brothers and your sisters, um, your actual neighbors or relatives. You know, you want to start off small because they're preschoolers. And everybody they come in contact with is actually their neighbor. And you want to teach them that, you know, to love God and then love your neighbor. And then everything else will fall into place. So this has been my book review of the Big Picture Story Bible. Remember, you are the greatest gift in storytelling and in your lifestyle that your children will ever interact with at this age. So you want to just pick the Word of God within your own lives, you know. Pick a standard, you know, read it, memorize it, love God, you know. And it's not just about learning about God, it's about learning who He actually is. Because He loves you guys, and He loves your children. And that's what you want to do. Anyway, this is Jeremiah from Miles World signing out. With a blessed day for you guys. I pray you guys have a very blessed day, very good day. And, and teach your children well. All right. Till next time.